Fiesco, let's go show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Kanye West. We know he got sued by his former assistant, Lauren Fashoda. Uh, she was suing him for sexual harassment, breach of contract, wrongful termination, fraud, unpaid wages, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. She claimed that uh, she was fired and offered a $3 million severance package, which she accepted but did not receive. She said she was making a million dollars annually from OnlyFans when Kanye asked her to quit OnlyFans to be more godlike, and he would pay her $1 million. She said she did do that, deleted her account, and that's when Kanye started harassing her with explicit text messages, and at one point he pleasured himself in front of her, according to her lawsuit. Well, Kanye has responded. In a statement to Page Six via his lawyers, Kanye claimed the OnlyFans model attempted to pursue him sexually to coerce employment and other material benefits, and then blackmailed him when her advances were rejected. In response to these baseless allegations, Kanye will be filing a lawsuit against Ms. Pashoda. Uh, The statement goes on to say, prior to her termination as an assistant, Ms. Pashoda stole his cell phone in an attempt to destroy phone records that would contradict her claims, all of which have been preserved. So it looks like Kanye got the receipts, KJ. Good. (laughs) (laughs) Kanye's lawyer goes on to say she was terminated for being unqualified, demanding unreasonable sums of money, including a $4 million annual salary, and numerous documented incidents of her levacious, unhinged conduct. This is where it gets really crazy. Kanye's lawyer stated, Pashoda offered Ye sex on his birthday, to which he declined, sent Ye unsolicited nude images, sexual narratives, and was seen twerking in the office during business hours. (laughs) (laughs) That part got me. I was like, whoa. (laughs) Sounds like me. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Did you, I didn't know Kanye actually operated with business hours. Like, what right. What are what are Kanye's business hours, okay? <laughs> and, uh, well, like, I don't know. In the office, like, randomly twerking? Where was she twerking? Right. Like, what What? What were you guys playing in the office what to was make going her on? start twerking? What made her start twerking in the office during business hours? <laughs> uh, this statement goes on to say that Pashoda allegedly tried to coerce Kanye sexually to get him to pay for her Hermes Birkin bags, a Lamborghini, and plastic surgery. Upon having her advances rebuked, Pashoda's blackmail demands have gone from $60 million last year to $50 million in last week's frivolous filing. So, dang, that's a lot of money that she was looking for. That's a whole lot of money. $50 million in this lawsuit, and they say last year she was asking them for $60 million. So this is wild, man. So they're going to definitely fight this out in court. And I can't wait to hear more about the twerking during business hours when they go to court. <laughs> I want details of these. Of the hopefully there's footage. Of twer- hopefully there's footage of twerking during business hours. I want to know what happened here. If I was a lawyer, that's what I would focus on. All right. We're going to get to the the bottom of this twerking during business hours. Right. <laughs> but we'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, here's someone that Kanye knows pretty well. Kim Kardashian. She did an interview on actors on actors for Variety. Uh, she talked about, you know, potentially doing some more acting roles where she would have to uh, use an accent. Uh, but she went on to describe her voice as distinct and annoying. <laughs> she, <laughs> said, she says, I find my voice is just so distinct and annoying. Do you agree with Kim, KJ? Um, kind of. It is, it's, kind of. It's kind of. If, I, if if somebody has an annoying voice out of the Kardashians, I would say Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> Courtney's voice is like it's it's totally annoying. It's so like it's so like monotone and yeah. like it's almost like she's not alive. <laughs> yeah, they actually. Would, it's crazy you said that because she was just talking about that on like the latest episode See? about her monotone voice. Like she, they um. She had to do like a thing with the app Calm. They had her read like a, oh. a bedtime story because her voice is so like right. monotone. <laughs> right, exactly. There's like no emotion in Courtney's yeah, voice. They're using her to like put people to sleep. Right, exactly. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Courtney as the most annoying voice in the Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about speaking of accents, Drake? You know he used one of his many accents yesterday on that "Hey There Delilah" remix. I still can't get over that song. Uh, but it looks like he did something else. He deleted his post of the Heart Part 6 off of his Instagram account. Of course, that was the last song 
he made in his battle against uh, Kendrick Lamar. What do you think that that that's about, KJ? Oh. Why, why would he delete that post? I guess he's just like really over it. He's but really I don't see why it. he would delete it though. I know he deleted the post. I mean, obviously, it's still up on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think it had like everyone. There was a bunch of dislikes on YouTube. On that post, so maybe he's just totally over it. He's totally done with this this whole Kendrick thing. He's trying to move on. He's gonna make every he's he's focused to make everyone forget that it even happened. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. I'll tell you what though, he's gonna have a hard time because Kendrick Lamar just made a big announcement. He is doing a pop out Ken and Friends show one night only in Los Angeles at the Forum. It's gonna take place on June nineteenth, and since he called it. Uh, Ken and Friends, I'm guessing it's just going to be everyone that hates Drake. I was just about to, I was thinking that like everyone that hates Drake, basically. Everyone that hates Drake oh, man. will be on stage and everyone's going to dance to Not Like Us. That is my prediction. Yep. Like, Not Like Us is going to go crazy this night. So that's happening. I can't wait to see the videos. Juneteenth, Kendrick Lamar, One Night Only, The Pop Out, Ken and Friends, a.k.a. Everyone Who Hates Drake. <laughs> Live from the forum in L.A. <laughs> That's going to be crazy. Also, too, there's reports that Kendrick Lamar is uh, working on that new album, which, thank God, he can't just go disappear now again. You know what I'm saying? Definitely cannot. And uh, finally, speaking of new albums, Ice Spice announced that she will be dropping her new album, Y2K, on July 26th. She released the album cover, plus uh, she's going on tour. She'll be at the Byline Bank Aragon Ballroom August 13th in Chicago with Cash Cobain. And her producer, Riot USA. Uh, tickets go on sale this Friday, June 7th, 10 a.m. local time. Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco Let's Go. Make sure you follow my podcast at Esco Let's Go. That's E S K O L E T S G O. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same E S K O L E T S G O, all one word. Thanks for listening.